In the rugged terrains of the southwest where the sun paints the sky with hues of orange and gold, a legend was born, Geronimo, the fearless Apache warrior. Born in 1829 near what is now Arizona's Gila River, Geronimo was originally named Goyahakla, meaning he who yawns, but it wasn't long before he earned a name that would echo through the annals of history. Geronimo's life took a tragic turn when Mexican soldiers killed his mother, wife, and three children in 1858. Consumed by grief and rage, he turned his sorrow into a relentless drive for vengeance and freedom. It was during a battle with Mexican troops that he earned the name Geronimo, a cry of fear and respect from his enemies. Geronimo soon became known for his extraordinary tactical skills and spiritual insight. He believed he had powers, a sort of divine protection, that made him impervious to bullets. Whether it was this spiritual armor or his unparalleled skill in guerrilla warfare, Geronimo seemed invincible. He led a band of Apache warriors on numerous raids, striking fear into the hearts of settlers and soldiers alike. But the tides of time were against him. The U.S. government was hell-bent on relocating Native Americans to reservations, stripping them of their lands and freedoms. Geronimo and his band resisted capture and confinement, leading the U.S. Army on a chase that spanned over a decade. His resistance became a symbol of Native American resilience and defiance. In 1886, after years of evading thousands of U.S. troops and Mexican soldiers, Geronimo finally surrendered. He and his followers were exiled to Florida, far from their ancestral lands. Despite his capture, Geronimo remained a symbol of resistance. He even rode in President Theodore Roosevelt's inaugural parade in 1905, though he was never allowed to return to his homeland. Geronimo passed away in 1909, but his spirit never died. His life story became a rallying cry for all indigenous peoples fighting for their rights and lands. Books were written, movies were made, but most importantly, his tale was passed down through generations as a testament to the indomitable will of the human spirit. So when you hear the name Geronimo, remember it's not just a cry before a daring leap. It's a name that embodies the essence of resistance, courage, and the unyielding quest for freedom. Food for thought. How can the story of Geronimo inspire us to stand up for what we believe in, even when the odds are stacked against us? Hope you find this narrative both enlightening and inspiring.